Hey guys and gals, so welcome back to the next part of the simulation series. This one is with Rocker and we have a very not nice map with a lot of closed off tiles. That one makes it really difficult to defend against how the enemies come out in this particular map. So the other downside is that Brocker has two very not good skills. His first one has a very long windup and his second one comes with a six second stun at the end. Now a six second stun is obviously gonna be long enough that any enemies are gonna walk straight through him if he's blocking them while that skill is active. So we're actually going with skill two because this map is fairly orchestrated in how enemies come out. So we can sort of work around that six second stun. That's not perfect, but seldom is anything perfect. So we're going to start by deploying Broca. Front row center. And Melantha is going to come in second. You can put Melantha top or bottom. It doesn't matter. And in addition to that, we are going to pop in Matoimaru just beneath her. Again, these two are interchangeable. It doesn't really matter which side you put them on, top or bottom. But they will nearly always kill these standard infantry. Uh, if by some freak accident one does get through, then it'll typically be on quite low health and Brock will just tidy it up anyway. So we're just gonna let this run its course. We'll drop in Hibiscus and she will be facing straight forward. And we're just going to let these infantry, the shielded infantry, just sit there and uh, not do anything. Uh, Broca will slowly kill them off, but here comes our first Wraith. And what we're going to do is wait until Matoimaru swings on that, uh, Melantha, sorry. And then we're going to use Melantha's skill. Uh, it's important to use Melantha's skill, not Matoimaru's skill. Uh, that's because Melantha's skill run, uh, runs for a very long time and... It covers both of the rates that come out, whereas Matoimaru's will not. It's just a very short burst skill. So that's the first sort of important thing to note. Next, we have these guys. These ones are the ones that reduce block rate. So what we want to do for these is wait until the first one leaves, deploy Utage so she catches it, and let Utage sit there and do her thing. Outside of that, the second ones will go straight through because they won't be blocked. So we want to use Matoimaru's skill here. And that is strictly to get as much damage on these guys coming through as we can. Because they will reduce block... Rocker's block by one. As you can see. And we don't want that. So now we have our next major issue which is going to be these guys coming through here so we're going to pull out utage because we need to have two new operators one and two again entirely interchangeable it really doesn't matter and we also need to drop in and sell so what we're going to do here is because these enemies the agents are going to reduce the block value of our little side guards by one. We're going to wait until the first ones get there, start attacking. There we go. And then we're going to use Brocker's skill. Now, the reason we're using Brocker's skill there is simply because these second group of enemies are just going to come straight at Brocker. So we're just going to use skills of Ansel and Hibiscus as we go. And we shouldn't need to worry about these enemies here because, well, between Brocker's extended range and these two doing attacks, they should get straight through. Or they should go straight down. So now we have these elite wraiths. Uh, the elite wraiths aren't going to be a massive issue for not a lot of reasons, but what we're going to do is we're going to be deploying Castle here to start attacking that one. And we're going to still try and stagger these two as best we can. So, castle in to start attacking this one. And we'll start with the toy maru.
And now we will cycle Melanthus. We'll use these two skills because as you can see, we have extra infantry coming through while we're still got a minus one block. And we'll also want to keep an eye on our healer. So there we go. Brock has got those down. And that's it, guys. Like I said, it gets a bit hairy, as you saw. One of those elite rates got very close to sneaking through. But um, with any luck, that will help you guys out. It's very close. It's very tight. But we get there in the end. It's all about making sure that those abilities on Matoimaru and Melantha are staggered in a way that one or the other is always doing maximum damage uh, against the elite rates specifically. Uh, the infantry, they will take care of on their own, but you need to make sure that the rates are covered. Otherwise, they'll just do the runner th right through. So I hope that helps, guys, and good luck to you all at home. If the guide helps, please like, subscribe, and please check out my Twitch channel.